Hey guys, thanks for checking out the Iguana Man channel, home of South Florida's favorite iguana hunter, the Iguana Man. We specialize in catching, cleaning, and cooking South Florida's most invasive reptile, the green iguana. So like, comment, and subscribe if you're new, because you'll never know where the Iguana Man will be hunting next. Bro, he's eating on top of the fence. Comment down below if you want to see me try to catch a lot of these. Our first iguana that we can actually try catching. All right, here. Used to our standard, Still, no iguana, big or small, is going to be left behind, guys. We need to catch them all and put them in the bag. We'll take them. We will take Ooh, him all fight, day. Little fight, little fight. A little strong. A little strong, right? For for a lizard that size, he definitely has a little power to him. Has a little power to him. And you'll be surprised the small ones that you gotta watch out. They're the fast ones that will definitely bite you. You know that what I'm saying? Beautiful blue right there. Let me see. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you're right. Oh, oh eating grass. Oh yeah. Little teeth. Look at that. Good job, man. Little baby duck. What? Oh, On baby earth? bird. Is it? Mm-hmm. I see a beak, two feet. Dude, what do you think happened to him, dude? He's obviously not doing well. Tree could have been attacked by something. Actually, it had to be attacked by something. Cause look, it's open. But what would have attacked it, killed it, and just left it here dead like that? Maybe it was eating something, scared it away while it was feasting on it. What's Bro. out here? What's aggressive out here? Dude, do you think it was an iguana? <sighs> Maybe a big alpha one, but they don't eat the eggs, but. You never know. You, every time we're out here hunting, I don't know if you ever noticed the ducks and iguanas are fighting for like the same house, nesting. Holy crap. The Bro, he's eating on top of the fence. I didn't even see that, dude. <laughs> hey, this is crazy, man. We're catching them before they migrate to the... This is just what we have to do over here at the iguana man. There he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. Did he come off? Watch, Watch out, yeah, because there's freaking barbs on there. Holy smokes. He is, oh, he's strong. Careful, bro, because there's barbs here. I see. I'm going to swipe him. There he is. Oh. <laughs> we had to. We had to. I'm sorry. He's not hurt. No, no, no. no not at all. That's, that's just for the safety of Harold and the iguana right there. He's still eating. Still eating. Look at that. Very nice. Look at the full mouth. Holy smokes. He definitely likes his greens, huh? Whew, he is happy. <laughs> you know, it's getting the job done, going the extra mile. We don't, I'm not gonna be like another company. Oh, we'll, we'll wait for them to get on your property. You know what? They're eventually gonna get on your property. So we'll go the extra mile. They're across the street to find the nest. We'll go there. There's the spiny tail iguana, the Mexican spiny tail iguana, and then there's different Caribbean iguanas that come from different islands. So we're gonna do some research. This iguana could have very well swam across the ocean to be here in South Florida. It's definitely possible. You guys know that they are masters of swimming and migrating from place to place. We're gonna do some more research to try to verify what subspecies of iguana can this be. Yeah, bro. All right. You think you got this? There's a hole in that fence on the other side. Oh, oh, kids. No, he got, he got oh, him. He got him. No. Woo! Yeah, it buddy. Just grew, it just grew his tail back. Just grew it back? Yeah. You no way. Tell. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. He's feisty. What? Whoa, his mouth is open. Wide open. Let him. Beautiful. Yeah. So we were catching a bunch of mangrove snapper on live shrimp. Uh, this is the first one we landed on a gulp shrimp right here. So um, I did get a lot of bites, but it seems like only the bigger mangrove snappers are able to get hooked on the gulp shrimp. Now I think there's a bunch of them down there. You wanna measure the fish from the snout to the tail. He's about 10 and a quarter. Let's measure this guy real quick. Oh yeah. There we go, another 10 and a quarter right here. So those are two good fish to clean. Go ahead and start filleting. Haven't filleted a fish in a while, but I know if you are gonna do it, you wanna chill the fish. Keep it nice and firm. Go in like an angle like that, and then go 
underneath. Hopefully I did this right, y'all. I don't know. There we go. One fillet. Oh, yeah, we did it. We did it good. Go through it. It's been a minute since I filleted a fish, but I think we're going to do a pretty okay job. Boom. Let's see how we did. Oh, yeah. Perfect, perfect right here. Two nice fillets. Also, if you guys want to see how I caught these fish, I just started a fishing YouTube channel. It's called Iguana Man Fishing. We'll go ahead and link that. You guys can check that out. Some pretty cool stuff. There's going to be a lot more fishing uh, next couple weeks due to the, the mullet run. So if you guys want to see that, it's going to be available. Just trim it up a little bit. This thing's go like that. Get the meat off. Boom. There goes our filet right there. Gorgeous. Two nice pieces right there, y'all. Two nice pieces. Let's go ahead and clean the other one up. Let's go ahead, open the trap. It's got a little zipper. Beautiful. We'll try to get this girl out like that. Let her sink uh, and we'll anchor this somewhere. Right there. Not bad from two little fish. They were a little bit mushy. Like I said, if you catch fish and you want to eat it, clean it right away, eat it right away. The fresher, the better. Taste, texture, everything, all right? We're gonna go ahead and start cooking this up. So we're out here and uh, we got our friend Yingling over here. Go What's up, ahead. guys? And she's gonna help us cook. Wait, what the heck? Is that a fish? There's baby fish everywhere over here. She's gonna go ahead and help us with this catch, clean, and cook. As you guys can see, we're actually in the water. It's high tide right now. We were expecting it to be low tide. And uh, we would have had a better chance for crabs, but no luck on the crabs yet. We'll try again another time. But we got our fish, and uh, Yingling's gonna go over here and uh, season her up. She's about to whip it up for y'all real quick. Salt, black pepper, paprika. Okay. Guys, we're gonna season these up. That should be good. Very nice. Okay. My goodness, guys, there's a crab in the net. A red one, too. CJ, hoist it up. Oh. Is, it, is there a shrimp in there, too? Uh, yeah. It's a giant one. Oh, my goodness. What? Wait, wait, wait. That's not a shrimp. That's crazy. What, what is it? Oh, wait, no, it is a shrimp. It just has long. The zip, there's a zipper on top. There's a zipper on top. Flip it. Yep, right there. <laughs> Hello. Oh my goodness, that is. Ooh. Guys, we might have some other things to put on the dinner table. <laughs> oh. Tiger shrimp? I don't know. Wow, look at that. I think it is, bro. It's pretty cool. Holy smokes. I think that is uh, a tiger shrimp. We're going to do some more research, but I heard there are invasive shrimp in the South Florida waterway, so I think invasive this might... Invasive shrimp? Yeah, dude. What else? <laughs> <Tiger>? <laughs> Mr. Oh, Krabs. Oh, no, no, happy Mr. Krabs. Uh, all right, bro, you got this. Get some small claws, y'all. Oh. oh. Oh, gosh. Ah! Ah! Okay, just keep cool. Maybe he'll stop pinching the living daylight out of me. His claws are, like, needle sharp. He's got me right there on the cubicle. Ow! Okay. All right, this assault needs to stop. Got him by the claws. Look at that thing right there. 
That is so alien like. Look at that. Ying, what, what kind of crab do you think this is? I think it's a mud crab. This is a mud mangrove crab right here, y'all. And uh, they're out here in the mangroves. Obviously, he was in the water. The season is closed for these crabs, all right? We would harvest him. It opens back up on Halloween. So for this guy, we're gonna have to send him back on the way. But we do have an invasive tiger shrimp right here. Whoa, whoa, he's got claws. Oh my goodness, guys. These things have, look at the claws. These things have crazy scissor-like claws. We're gonna put this guy back. He's obviously not a happy camper. Go ahead, buddy. Go back, go back. Get out of here. This, on the other hand, Hey, let's see the pinch on this guy. Oh yeah, nothing like the crab. Nothing like the crab, hey. You cooking this up, Ying? Yeah, that's some good eating right here. Pinching the hell out of my fingers. Very nice, very nice, guys. Let's uh, clean this guy up and get him ready for the grill. Guys, we're gonna take the head off the shrimp the right way. Humane. The humane way, guys. Perfect. I'm gonna devein him. We're gonna put some salt, black pepper, and paprika on him. This right on the coals, like that. We're gonna put a big clump of butter in there. Butter going in the pan, y'all. I got hot quick. You hungry? Yeah. Starving. <laughs> Starving. Starving. Starving, y'all. We starving out here. We're gonna let that melt down just a little bit, not too much. And we're gonna put our friend that we caught today in there. <laughs> For about one minute on each side. Minute on each side, okay, that's all it takes. That's all it takes, we can eat a medium rare, anything. True. As long as he came, he came our way like that, we're blessed to have him in our pocket. Oh look, his head is still, <laughs> oh my God, look, his head is. His head's still moving. His head guys. is still moving, what on earth? Oh, that great? looks like it. hey cj <laughs> guys we're not gonna waste any of this shrimp look at that it's still moving it's still oh, got action that's what's up cj you already know what to do buddy <laughs> <laughs> he's very red in color he's about almost done there. he's about ready for for the ying to eat him up one bite one bite we all the ying piece. might just get it all she needs it all she always gets it all that is Hey, no arguing with that. Dude. Oh shit. All right. Guys, one thing I've learned is you, you never argue with a woman and you definitely don't argue with a hungry woman. So Exactly. She wants to eat it. Hey. Hey, well, we know All where right, they're at. We'll, they we'll might catch more. they might catch more for their sub, but this one's for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> definitely a one biter. Ain't nobody could take another bite but me. Or shrimp. We seasoned this with salt, black pepper and paprika. We're going to put them in a pot. All the butter that you could imagine, guys. Oh my goodness. We're gonna let these sear up. Woo! Seared fish, huh? <laughs> groovy, groovy. Look at, oh my goodness, that looks great. There goes our live bait oh, there right there, y'all. CJ got him it. on the head. I didn't even see it. <laughs> Dude, you're gonna be a legend if you catch something with that, bro. Something might chomp on that. Might chomp. <laughs> if he does, you guys know where he's going. Guys, you let this cook on each side for just about 10 seconds. 10 seconds, that's all you need. The pan is really hot. Oh yeah, look at that, it's already starting to cook. Oh my goodness. Make sure it's not sticking. We put enough butter, so it's perfect. Guys, it's been about 10 seconds. It's time to flip these up. That smells great, yo. Let's see this. Oh, yeah. It's very pretty in color. It's about snow white. That's 10 seconds on each side, guys. All you need is 10 seconds, no more than that. Guys, it's our 10 second limit and these babies look like they're about done. <laughs> yes. 
succulent fish. They look very juicy. This one right here is CJ's one. What? I want that. That one. one's CJ's. That one's seasoned? Why? <laughs> I like that one right there. Is that the only reason why? It's mine? No, because it's little. What? Hey, little? <laughs> <laughs> My toe. Fish biting your toe? Yeah. Keep in mind, y'all, Ying is over here just straight in the water. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, so uh, the fish has cooled for about a good five minutes. You could take a look at it right there. It looks pretty, pretty good. All right, so we all, yeah, we all put in effort preparing catching, cooking this meal right here. So I think we all deserve a nice piece of fish. Go ahead, CJ. It's firm. The fish is firm. It's firmer than I thought. I thought it was gonna be mushy. Let's go ahead. Cheers. All right, cheers, y'all. Guys, it's really good. <laughs> It's a hundred dollar fish right here. You go to the store, like, yo, let me get that, let me get that work. I got you. I already know what you mean. Bada boo. Guys, I think this is like a thousand dollar fish right, right. here. This is more than a hundred dollar fish. It's a thousand dollar fish. It was really good. Try pieces. Y'all split that middle piece right there. Guys, we have to dissect this into three. Go ahead, Ying. Here we go. Um. CJ, this is not your piece. <laughs> there. Go ahead, CJ. I just, I just want to taste it. That butter makes it taste good. <laughs> the shell. Yeah. I ate the shell too. You just ate the shell? At one biter. You're one of those people that eat shells. Yeah, of course. Guys, there's two different types of people out there that eat shrimp. There's people that eat it without the shell. And there's people that eat it with the shell. And I'm one of those. Which one are you? Are you a without a shell person or with a shell person? <laughs> without the shell, because I ain't trying to. With choke. the shell, y'all. Let's see how much likes we get for this. With the shell. <laughs> Not a choking we're gonna, we're gonna We're going to put a little uh, a vote ballot in the, in the comments. You guys comment. With shell, without shell, we'll see who wins. Uh, somebody else I knew used to eat them with the Is shell, and I just, I just, I just didn't understand it. But it's supposed to have more nutrients for you. Just really not my cup of tea. But to each their own. Uh, there's one more piece, y'all. Let's go ahead and kill it real quick. The mangrove snapper. It was really good today. Really good fish right there, y'all. Like, like I said, if you go out there, they're all over Florida. They just got to be 10 inches to keep. And now you guys see why people consider this fish the best eating inshore fish in South Florida, guys. It's just so versatile, so tasty, so yummy. Look at finger licking good right there. <laughs> <laughs> One biter, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, uh, like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Yes. Guys, we'll see.